Hey guys, this is Yamaliki from Information Technology. I have got another video for you. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download and install CCleaner on your Windows PC. So what's CCleaner? CCleaner is a utility used to clean potentially unwanted files in invalid Windows registry entries from a computer. It is one of the longest established system cleaners, first launched in 2004. It was originally developed for Microsoft Windows only, but in 2012, a Mac OS version was also released. So let's see how we can download and install CCleaner. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for CCleaner. And click on the first link that's from CCleaner.com. So let's just click on that. And once you click on that, it will take you to this page. So once you open this website, you will be able to scroll down here. And here you can see two versions of the CCleaner. One is the CCleaner free version and then the other one is CCleaner professional. Since we are going to be using the CCleaner for freeing up some space and also clearing some uh, operating system tasks, so we will be okay to download the free version of CCleaner. And you can read more about what the free version of CCleaner can do. So the free version of CCleaner is enough for us and hence let's click on this download button. And once we click on the download button, it will take us to this page. And here, once again, they are showing us the details about the free version and professional versions. And here they also have best value package from where you can buy professional bundle up to three PCs. The total would be 27.95 for three PCs. But as we mentioned before, we are just going to download the free version. So let's click on this free download button. And once we click that, it takes us to this page where we can download the CCleaner setup. So I am going to save this download to my download folder. And once I choose where I want to save this executable file, I will click on save. And as you can see, the download has just completed. Now let's minimize this and go to our download folder and then double click on this CC setup. When you double click on this exe file, it will open up this little window asking us, do you want to run this file? So now we are going to click on the run button. It will take us to a new dialog box. So basically we are going to agree with the license agreement in privacy policy. So after that, let's just click on install. And the installation will just take a few seconds. It's, it's gonna be very quick. The installation has just completed. Now let's click on run CCleaner. And here we go, CCleaner 3 is ready. So start speeding up and optimizing your PC today. So click on the continue button now. After that, they are asking us install Google Chrome. So this is an additional application. If you want to install the Chrome on your PC, you can just accept and then this will install the application for you. But for now, I am just going to click on decline. And then you are all done. Start enjoying these great benefits of CCleaner. So faster computer, better internet privacy and fewer errors and crashes. Let's just click on start CCleaner. And here on the left side, as you can see, we are currently on the health check tab. So let's just check our PC's health. So for that, click on start. We need to close these items so we can analyze them. The selected items will be closed. Just click on this button now. Right now it's closing the application. And as you can see, the application is taking a long time to close. Would you like to force close it? And we will say yes. And now it's checking your PC's health. So we will let that run through. And once that's done, we will come back. All right, so the health check is finished. As you can see in here in the privacy section, it has found 31,422 trackers that we should remove and also for freeing up space they have found 1623 mb of junk files that i should remove and in the speed section uh, there is one startup app 
that should be disabled and for security there is one application that needs to be updated so since i'm using the free version of the c cleaner i will only be able to get benefit of these two options which is the privacy and space so once you are ready just click on make it better and once you click on that it will get rid of all these privacy and space uh, issues that we have in our system so let's do that and it will take a few seconds to complete all right so it has finished uh, resolving the issues and now it's saying your pc is feeling good now make it feel like a superstar with pro so once again they're asking us to upgrade to the professional version now as you can see we still see these uh, trackers and also the space uh, issues here but it's because we need to click on this start over all right so it's time for your pc check and then let's click on start again to see if it has really worked or not all right so now we only have two trackers to remove and 3.58 mb of junk file to remove but it seems all good to me now we can go to the second tab which says custom clean in here we have uh, different options for windows and also we have options for applications so on the left side as you can see for microsoft edge in here we can clean the internet cache internet history cookies download histories and lost download locations and also all these other uh, options that we have so anything we want to clean we can just put a check and then we will click on run cleaner same way you can go with the age also you can go to the internet explorer and then we have windows explorer where we can clean some stuff in the run or in start menu and thumbnail caches and all other stuff and then we have some options to do with the system like emptying the recycle bin temporary files clipboards memory dumps and other files and now if we click on the application tab here we can go to the uh, firefox application brave browser and then we have windows store applications multimedia and we have other utilities as well so just go through each of these options and check anyone that you want to clean uh, so i am happy with the default one so i will click on the run cleaner and it gives me this message the selected files will be deleted from your pc do you wish to continue or click on the continue button now all right so right now it's clearing all the issues in the internet explorer browsers and all other application that we just choose all right so it has removed 8.18 mb of junk files for us the driver update so let's just do that as well so let's click on this button that says scan your drives and now it's scanning our drives to see if there is any driver that need to be updated so let's click on update all okay but the thing with that is that with the free version you cannot update any of the drivers you have to either uh, upgrade to the pro version or you can also start a 14 days trail but for the sake of this video we will not be upgrading to the pro version so we will close out of this and then the fourth option is the registry and here we can scan for issues that we might find in the registry section so let's click on that okay so now it's checking for uh, any issues that we might have in the registry section all right so now the registry scan has completed a number of issues found 217 and now once they found all of that now we can click on review selected issues and what it says is do you want to back up the registry before making changes i don't want to back it up so i will just say no all right so we can fix all of these issues one by one or we can fix all of them at once so i will do all of them at once hence let's click on fix all selected issues and there you go all of the registry issues have been solved so once we do that let's just click on close so now we don't have any issues in the registry section and on the left side let's click on the tools menu all right so in the tool section we can uninstall any program from here as well it will do the same job as we do with the control panel so if you if you want to uninstall any program from this list that is installed on your system you can do it from here as well and then we have the options section where we can upgrade to pro version or we can start a free trail 
and then with the last option in here we have upgrade so the current version we have is the free version and from here we can upgrade to the professional version all right so that's all we have for you in this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have learned something and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so till next video it's goodbye from here